Ciao everyone, in this chapter we're going to see how the decrackle module works. A common scenario where to use the decrackle happens especially for voiceover recordings, where the sensitivity of a microphone is picking up a lot of those little clicks and crackles that happens with mouse noise. To give you an example, I have prepared here an example. that proof how the sensibility of the microphone sometimes could heavily compromise the final result. The decrackle module helps to remove unwanted mouse sounds from your recording. Let's see how well isotope decrackle works with removing these noises. All right, so I'm going to send this module to be repaired or decrackle. And what I'll do here is go ahead and click my decrackle module. So the Crackle module is a fairly easy module to work with. Again, if you don't know where to start, a lot of those modules give you, you know, start presets where to start off. Anyhow, right now we're going to leave the quality as high as we can, uh, which is going to take a little bit longer in rendering the file, but at least it's going to give us a greater result. Now, as you can see here, we only have two sliders, the strength slider and the amplitude skew. Now, within the strength, the lower the strength, the more we can preserve the natural sound of the audio. The higher the strength, the more artifacts we might introduce in the overall sound. Whether the amplitude skew works a little bit on the different frequency range of where the crackle is occurring. As a matter of fact, if the crackle are occurring during high level of audio, uh, you might want to drag the slider to the right. If instead you're hearing crackles during low level of audio, in this case you want to choose to move the amplitude skew to the left. As for the previous module, we're going to be using only the output crackle only to hear what the interpolation of this module is. Disclaimer, it won't be the pleasant the overall output of this module, so be aware. All right, first and foremost, I'm going to select my time tool, make our selection, making sure we are in preview, okay. And I'm going to start with a strength of 3 and move the slider up if needed to be. maybe to four. All right, I'm gonna remove the output crackle only and render. The decrackle module helps to remove unwanted mouse sounds from your recording. Let's see how well isotope decrackle works with removing these noises. All right, sounded good to me. So what I'm gonna do is send this back into Pro Tools. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna make our usual playlist. All right, and render the file. So we have before. The decrackle module helps to remove unwanted mouse sounds from your recording. Let's see how well isotope decrackle works with removing these noises. And after. The decrackle module helps to remove unwanted mouse sounds from your recording. Let's see how well isotope decrackle works with removing these noises. Great. So remember, every time you are in a scenario where the sensitivity of the microphone happens to be just a little too high and it picks up a lot of those nasty and unwanted clicks and crackles that happen with mouth noise, the decrackle is your tool. All right, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Ciao.